What is up everyone, Flash from Flash Hobbies. Today we're gonna to be doing a quick install. We are gonna be installing these GPM uh, aluminum parts. These are the front and rear sway bars. Here's the part number. I'll also leave a link down in the description below. And if you've been watching my series on the UDR, I've been doing an upgrade slowly on it. Um, I did the upper arms, lower arms. We have the rear arms. And that's kind of been it as far as the aluminum upgrades that I wanted to do. But then I, I got these on a special. I actually got them for about 30 bucks on eBay. But I know they sell for a lot more than that now. So I guess the price fluctuates depending on supply or demand. I'm not really 100% sure. But let's go ahead and get these installed. So the first step, of course, is you got to take off your body. There are four um, screws up here. There's two here. There's one on the back here next to the light, and there's one in the very back, and you'll do the same thing on the other side, and the body slides right off. So that's pretty straightforward, easy to do. So we'll move on to the next step. So this kit comes with everything that you're going to need, and um, including the screws as well. Uh, there are no instructions included, but if you look at your UDR, you already have the front, and you also have the rear sway bars already installed. So they look exactly the same. The only difference is that it's going to be all aluminum now. And pretty much you just have to take out the old ones and replace it with the new. This is going to be for your front. And like I said, it comes with, uh, these are titanium links and aluminum parts. And the screws are inside as well. So we're going to start with the front. Uh, we're going to start by taking off this here. And that's going to be a two millimeter. <laughs> And you don't need to take the screw all the way out. You just need to loosen it enough to where it stops holding it. There's a little flat spot right here. So that part comes undone. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take off our screw from our arm, which is also two millimeter. All right, now that we got that one removed, we'll go ahead and remove that. And there goes one whole side already. So we're just going to repeat the same process on this side. Okay, so now we have the other side removed. And honestly, I would just save these uh, for the future. Just in case you break something, you can replace it with this until you get your new replacement part. So now we're going to reverse the process and we're going to basically do it with the new set. Okay, so if, if you look at it, this is what I pulled out from my right side, which would be your left side. And here's the new piece and it has on there R, GPM, GPM. I don't know if you can see that, but um, basically this little nub right here, it's got to face back into the truck. So that's going to be the part that grabs on to the actual sway bar itself. Okay, so the first part that we're going to assemble is the link itself. You're just going to go ahead and put your link in there and then put your screw through. All right, so we have the screw in there and we're going to go ahead and just start turning it until it pretty much ends. And I, I did put a little bit of Loctite on there just because it is aluminum. It tends to want to back out with vibration. So I just do it maybe to where it's a little bit tight and then do maybe a third of a turn more. It's on there. Just make sure that... The link is able to move because this is going to be a moving part up and down. Okay, and then what we're going to do here is we're just going to prep it. So we're going to put our new link in here. And now we're going to screw it into the bottom. Okay, so I have it hand turned. I started it by hand turning it. And we're going to finish it off with the screwdriver. Again, put some, some Loctite on there just in case. And there's the first half. Now we're just going to connect it to the sway bar here. And it looks like this one's a little bit different than the original. So it actually has a slot for you to slide it in here. And then we'll put in a screw. Now we're putting in our screw. And pretty much we're just going to go down until it gets tight. And it grips it. Okay, so I'm not going to tighten it all the way down because I want to make sure that the other side grabs as well. So that's the first bar. So the first side is installed. Everything looks to fit okay. No problems, no fitment issues. It slides through the arm. It's not rubbing. So that's a that's a great sign. So now we're just going to repeat the same process for the other side. All right, and here's the right side. No issues. It fits perfectly. Um, again, it's not hitting anything when the suspension is compressed and when it releases. Again, no issues. So that was a perfect fit. All right, now let's move on to the rear and install these. All right, and here in the rear, again, we're going to use our two millimeter and we're going to unhook it from here first from the actual link itself. 
So once we remove that, we're actually gonna have to remove the wheel because the next uh, part is this link here and the screw faces out somewhere down here. So to remove the wheel, um, I use a 5 16 bit. With like a regular screwdriver. I'm not sure if those cross hexes that come with the RCs will work. It might, I'm not sure. This is just easier for me. All right, now that we got the wheel off, we have our faux rudder exposed and now we have that. So since this truck is so heavy, I'm gonna use one of my 3D printed jack stands. See how those come in handy? Love it. And this is a two millimeter. So we'll see if we can get it from this angle. Yeah, we can. So we don't have to take off the rotor. And we'll just go ahead and we're gonna unscrew this. Once it comes out, there's your whole assembly. So as, again, essentially we're just gonna replace that with the metal link and the metal upper arm or the sway bar. Okay, now that we have the old one off, we're gonna replace it with the new one. And again, GPM has labeled it for you. So right side, right side. Um, you can match it up with the old arm and you can see that they're the same length. It does have adjustability. I don't know exactly what that's gonna do for your for your ride, but I'm gonna leave it on the last one because that's where the stock positioning is. And we're just gonna put the screw that they provided for you, which is nice because I'll show you in a second here, but my screws were already starting to rust pretty bad. Not that it was gonna affect the way that it drove, but you know, for aesthetics. So here's the stock assembly, new assembly. It's all the same, same lengths. You don't have to adjust anything. We're gonna install it down here and just put the screw that they provided. All right, and then just test to make sure that it's all loosey-goosey and it's it's all nice there. And then we're just gonna reinstall the, the... So I'm gonna go ahead and put my screw and get it started. Then we'll put it back in here. So I gave it about another third turn once I felt that it was tight and I'm pulling on it and it's not coming out. So that is the first side and that's how it looks it looks freaking awesome it looks really good now that the aluminum's up here it goes here and you can see it down here plus the silver shocks like it just it looks really good and then we'll just repeat the same process for the other side so the rear sway bar is now installed everything is good no binding looks awesome well, that's going to do it for this video, everyone. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. As always, I try to get back to you. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe with notifications, and we will see you on the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time.